Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing up the Madden cheese has always got another scheme for you guys today. I'm back in practice mode. I'm going to do a couple practice mode videos uh, before I get back to the gameplays because I know certain people uh, like these types better. It's easier to learn. It's also easier for me to control the environment of what's going on and show you guys the best way to run things. Gameplays are great, uh, but ultimately you can't, you know, some, I, I just had to redo a video because I tried to do it in a gameplay and it didn't really work out because I couldn't show it against all the things it could beat. So ultimately sometimes practice mode is better so the series of plays i'm going to show today and one of the, another reason i'm putting in gameplay so i can put it in the upcoming eagles ebook that i have coming out uh, is out of the wing flex i'm going to show mostly run plays in this video i'm going to put them in my uh, audibles now so i'm going to show mostly run plays in this video um and i'm going to show maybe one or two pass plays but the rest of the scheme is going to be uh for my ebook and it's also going to be for my join now uh community and my patreon i'll have the full uh breakdown there uh, but ultimately, we're going to start off with three run plays that I really find are the most successful. I'm going to put them in my audibles. Uh, the stretch is one of them. The halfback zone week's already there. And then the um, the last play is going to be the 0-1 trap, which is really good. So I'm going to go random defense. I also have uh, the one pass play, which is the PA wide drag wheel. So like I said, as far as the run plays go, I mean... You might have already actually seen, I think uh, I had some of these in a gameplay where I, I made a video about uh, how to run the ball a couple days ago. Try to put a link in the description with that. Uh, but I was using these exact same three run plays. Uh, and it's really simple as far as the setup goes. Uh, if it's a cover three, it's really best to run the stretch. Cover three, cover four. This looks like it could be a cover three. I'm not entirely sure. Um, like I said, I went random defense. If you motion this guy out and he drops back into cover three, if you don't, it's a man. Uh, maybe like a man with like a, um, you know, I, I'm not exactly sure. But like I said, this is the type of look where I typically would run, run the stretch play. And you can see how, you know, if it is if it is a cover three or cover four, those cornerbacks drop off. And that's part of the reason that it's so successful. Uh, this is definitely a cover three. So like I said, that cornerback, he's going to drop back and take himself out of the play for the most part. Um, and then I'm typically going to have a, a successful run to the edge against cover three or cover four. Uh, then when you have, you know, the, the other read is going to be like, you know, right right on this left side here where this halfback zone weak is. I mean, if it's a cover two, the zone weak or the 0-1 trap are best uh, because there's typically cornerbacks playing down outside to take away those stretch runs. Uh, but on a play like this, you can see there's a huge gap between the defensive end who's playing way outside uh, and the defensive tackle. You know, that's that's typically a gap you want to look for to hit these 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 zone or these uh, these zone stretch runs. As you can see, I mean, we have explosive plays to both sides. That's one of the things that makes this so successful is you really have that ability. So like I said, here we go once again. I don't necessarily need to make a read cover two. I just see a giant gap, and I'm going to try to uh, take advantage of that. But the guard there, I love how the guard passes off, the way they they, they set up that block. I'll go to the replay real quick uh, to show that, because I'm sure it's something you couldn't see uh, with as quickly as I ran that. But the way that this guard right here, who I think is probably the worst guard on the team, I think it's Isaac Sayomalu, uh, he just, the way he typically just sets this, this, uh, this edge right here, uh, you know, they double team, creates that hole every time. And since that guy starts out so far, it's always going to chip him out. He's just basically going to hold him off. So it sets that edge. And then by the time uh, I get the handoff, say Amalu here, typically is stepping up and, and passing off. And you get that animation so consistently, you're always going to get this lane. So that's something that uh, it's all about the design of the blocking. It's not necessarily the run play itself, but what these what these blockers do consistently is really makes this play successful. So that's really the reads. The last read would be, and I didn't mention this, uh, which we got luckily here. Uh, if it's a man coverage, because you have two wide receivers over here, um, you typically are going to uh, not see a cornerback on the other side. You can see right here, I accidentally uh, made the wrong motion, just kind of messing around. Uh, but we'll go ahead, we'll, we'll motion it back. So like I said, if it's a man coverage, obviously you want to run the stretch again because there's no cornerback out here to uh, to take away anything. So that's pretty much going to be the look um, as I get lit up. But like I said, that's something I'll take all game. So if it's man cover two or, um, you know, if you see a giant hole, a giant lane here, you typically want to go with the zone weak. Uh, if it's anything, you know, cover three, cover four, or man, the stretch is going to be best. And then last but not least, we have the 0-1 trap. This here, I find this is a pretty consistent run regardless of what you're looking at. I mean, it really works best 
um, you know, if, if you have a spread defense in the lane in the middle, it's going to work best. Uh, but I'm not really getting that look in four threes. But you can see, I mean, the blocking is pretty consistent. I don't know if I'll get good runs here, but I do run this quite a bit. I would say if your opponent sizes down and goes to like a, you know, a nickel or something like that, um, that would be the best time to run something like this. But it's a very successful run against smaller packages. So those are your bread and butter plays. Um, typically, uh, would be these first two runs. But the Owen Trap's really successful. I have a lot of success with it. Like I said, I don't know if I have success with it now. But it, there we go. So like I said, we have... It's, it, this is one of the... You know, this is definitely one of the better runs in this formation. This is not to be forgotten. Although, like I said right here, I mean, this is something I definitely want to run outside once again. We got that man look. Um, and we're going to get that edge pretty consistently. So, yeah, like I said, this is a real bread and butter formation for me. So, and as far as the pass play goes, um, the uh, PAY drag wheel... Uh, most people probably should know this setup by now. It's something I've noticed people running this year. Uh, it's something that I actually put out a couple years ago. I'm not trying to say, I'm not trying to take credit for it, but ultimately I, I did put this out a long time ago, and I think it was last Madden. I used to run this like in solo battles, like every play, because it was so cheese. Uh, and then last Madden, I think they actually patched it. It wasn't working at all. It seems to be working again. All you really have to do is streak the A route, put the X, put the X route on a drag. Um, and this is pretty much uh, the play. Now, if it's an all-out man blitz like it is, um, this B route's typically going to be a one-play touchdown against that, against man coverage. Um, it's going to be a big play against most zone plays. But this is pretty much, like I said, these are the these are the four uh, plays that I would say I use the most. And then, like I said, I'll have a couple of additional plays um, here. It looks like we probably have a, a zone coverage there. You can see, like I said, against certain zones, you definitely got to get the right type of pass. Because, like I said, I think they actually patched this recently. I don't know if that was a cover three or a cover four or what it was. But, like I said, this is being run enough that EA decided to put something in the game where these guys uh, kind of just react and sit on the routes. Like, this is... I'm not sure what this is. I guess i got to check this out. It looks like it might be a... I'm not sure. This looks like it might be a cover four quarters. I'm not 100% not sure, but like I said, they do it. This is something I noticed started having recently where these where these guys are sitting on these routes. But they're still opening if you make the right throw. So he can sit there all he wants. But if I throw it up the field, then what are you going to do? So, like I said, still a really broken play. But like I said, I have noticed EA has been uh, been been making little adjustments on some of these more run plays. So here we go again. Like I said, against cover three and cover four, um, this this route's going to be very good underneath. It's not necessarily going to be a one play touchdown, but um, with, with how slow usering is, I mean, this is something I still use this in. in, uh, in I can put you know gameplay links for this as well because I have used this quite a bit uh, in gameplay. The the user's so slow that um, you know, they can't really have an effect. They can't really chase these routes like they could in the past. A lot of linebackers really aren't that aren't fast enough. Um, so it's like something like this, which probably this B route probably would have been used in previous Maddens. Uh, you really can't now. So it's like they, they're not they're not really capable of chasing a route like this all the way across the field like they might have been able to in Madden's past. So I'm going to end the video there. Uh, if you guys want to see more stuff out of the Eagles, like I said, this will probably be the next ebook that I put out. Um, hit the like button let me know in the comments section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.